A new group of street and sport cars to take to the double spiral track today. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan and I am thankful to some of the uh, viewers in the previous comments of the previous video who helped me out with the terminology regarding those chicanes as I called them. Some people volunteered the words S's, um, even... Uh, S-curves, whatever you want to call it. Looks like S's is kind of the, the overarching name that people have been uh, advocating for. So through the S's there, a couple back and forth turns, and we'll get our first four out there. Aston Martin looking to take an early lead down to the convergence space and comes across Jaguar right behind. Ooh, almost caught it there up at the end. Um... A lot of chance for acceleration down the transition, it seems. We saw this last video as well. Just just time where the car really sped up over those last few lengths. And we'll mix them up again and go for heat two. And uh, they'll take to the yeses here. Pontiac here on the near side with a lead this time. Remember the spirals? One outer spiral, one inner for each car every time. That's how it's been structured. No matter what lane you're in, you're dealing with it. Oh, a little bit of a skid on all three of those vehicles. The Aston Martin, big nose block, and he keeps back that white car. What a wonderful finish. Look at him. He wouldn't give up on the nose block. That's the kind of determination you have to have. And I know it's only one point, but that could keep you in the game. You only need to be top two to advance. Aston Martin still holding on. Mazda there, that white car that was that suffered at the end. And it looks like Pontiac and Jaguar tied at six points for second. They're back in as well. Aston Martin almost flips off the track there through the S's. Here they go around the curves. Here comes the Pontiac with the lead. Aston Martin speeding up on the near side and through the convergence space takes back the lead and pushes across the line way ahead. What a move on the outer line. And I will say in that transition piece, the outer line might be better because you can ride that rail and any any side uh, any sidelong battles, you're going to push the other car into the middle and start to turn them. So you got to take advantage of the outer line when you can. Inner lines, they need to jump into the middle of the transition and dive to the middle. Not try to ride that rail because that's going to, you know, again, in a sideways battle, that's going to leave them uh, out of control. Here comes the Jaguar. On the near side, Aston Martin again, looking to speed up. Ooh, takes the behind line, goes skids. He's now 90 degrees, but he's back straight. He'll lose a, a place again. And now, um, well, I, th I think he'll still advance because he had two fives in it. It's another win there from the Jaguar. Well, one win. And advances Aston Martin and the Jaguar. Pontiac will not, will come up short here. He also had a win, but uh, not enough. Next set of four. Here we go, Lotus Charger, Camaro, Camaro, Audi. I saw another comment recently telling me I was pronouncing that wrong. Either Camaro, Camaro, I'm doing it wrong. So <laughs> I'll try to stick with one and do my best. Here it comes. We have the Charger there, ahead by many lengths to finish. Oh, wow, big race at the end. Oh, I almost missed that. My brain tends to uh, let up a bit on the gas when we get down to just the two and one point races because I mean truthfully it's really about the fives and the threes but the the Camaro really pushed across nicely there and uh, one by a wheel length well got third by a wheel length let's roll them out again here we go heat two looks like Charger and Audi will be the ones to beat in this one Charger there on the inner line of the far side through the S's takes back a lead wow fast through those S's look at how smooth that was that gives him an advantage coming out here now neck and neck with the Audi he's got an inner line Audi on the outer line and converges in big lead for the Audi and he'll pick up five this time Charger slows down and almost loses out to the Lotus but uh, has enough room to finish things off And uh, the standings will shake up just a little bit. 
Three five five three. Charger and Audi are tied. Two one and one two. So far, again, no individual sweep being set up in this one. We did at last time have a final sweep, which is lesser because it's only four of the eight races won in a row. But no, no chance for that individual sweep today. As a well, every single car well has not gotten first in at least one race so far. Here comes the Audi down to the finish line and he'll have a few lengths to spare. And uh, it looks like the Charger and the Audi will be looking for the advancing spots. I don't even know if the if any of these other cars can get back into it. Camaro there with five points. And I believe, yeah, 5-3-3. So there's no chance. It's the Charger and the Audi for sure. I guess it'll be a battle of uh, a battle for the glory then. Who will win this one? They're always competitive, even when they know they've got the overall win. Here comes the Audi. Uh, looking a little shy there. Two lengths behind and more convergence space. Oh, Charger slows down. He's almost knocked away. There, the Audi had a line, but couldn't hold control. And they fell behind the Camaro there. Who, uh, who eked out a few extra points, but either way... Advancing Audi, advancing Charger. We head to the finals. And it's our set of four. Charger, Jaguar, Aston Martin, and Audi. Jaguar on the far side, then Aston Martin, then Charger, then Audi all the way here on the near side. It's a line of four. They're all pretty close. Through the S's, how does it look? Audi falling behind through the S's. Charger looking like he lost out speed in the double spiral. Here comes the Audi on the near side. Aston Martin, big lead. Audi catching up, but he doesn't go for an outer line. He needed to push away nearby and find that open space. He had the speed and just didn't have the dexterity. Aston Martin, five Audi, three. And uh, the other two following behind. Let's roll him out again. Eyes on the Aston Martin. Looking for a final sweep if he can get it. Through the S's. Audi looking fast and even into that double spiral. Looks like he had an edge of speed but comes out a little bit slower. Maybe the Jaguar this time stretching out a big lead here into the conversion space. Big collision. Audi loses all the speed almost down to fourth place. Jaguar will take that one. Oh man, what a collision. They came down at the same time and changed direction. And the Aston Martin bounced off much better. Next set. The next heat here. Same set of four. Now it's Aston Martin on the near side. Audi in the middle there. Far lane near um, inner line, we'll say. Uh, five and three for the Aston Martin, so he's really in the lead here with eight, but it's still anyone's match. Here we go. Running down to the end. Aston Martin, big lead. Well, just by a length. He's still a chance to lose. <coughs> starts to, man, <laughs> cough right through that, but starts to turn around. And he's going to reverse nose block. I don't even know how to make sense of that. Is that a reverse nose block, a backwards nose block? It's not even a nose block. It's a rear block. But he'll get that on. And he did uh, such amazing things that I, I choked up right there. <laughs> Aston Martin 535. 531 for the Jaguar. It's still possible for either of them. Here they go. Jaguar needs a win, though, and the Aston Martin's got to lose. Jaguar coming out quite fast. He's got a smidge of a lead. Here comes the Charger converging, and he's got it. Jaguar tries to put a little block on. He's nudged forward. Audi nudges forward the Aston Martin, and that's going to leave victory in the hands of the Aston Martin. Charger did not have enough to make any difference with that five. And the winner will be the Aston Martin heading to the finals. Now we have two cars heading to the finals. No sweeps of any kind in this one. That'll do it. Check out the Diecast Racing TV channel. Subscribe and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.